Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to create this beautiful donut chart component with the animations. So you can see here, I am changing the stroke of the circle color based on the percentage we are showing in the component. So we use React Native Reanimated, SVGs and Redash libraries to do these animations. Alright, let's get started. First, let's uh, go inside the package.json file. So here you can see we are going to use reanimated redash and svg in this video. So in the package uh, app file, you can see I have done the small UI already. So it's pretty much basics. And then this is the component we are interested in the donut chart. So let's go inside that component. So here I have defined couple of uh, uh, variables. So the first one is the circumference of the circles, and then we have derived r from the circumference. So the circumference of a circle is two pi r. So then I have defined the st uh, stroke uh, stroke width as well, and uh, here uh, I have defined another variable, a half circle. So it is taken from uh, radius and the stroke width and we have the diameter as well so here instead of the text I'm gonna add the SVG component so inside the SVG I'm gonna add a group uh, component as well so inside the group uh, we are gonna add two circles All right. So next, what we are going to do is um, let's add some properties to it. So first, let's add the width. So the SVG width uh, would be. I'm going to take the diameter, and for the height, the same. We can use the view box over here. So the first two parameters are going to be the origin point x and y. Then for the uh, width and height, let's add uh, the diameters. Alright, so now let's uh, fill the props for circle. Let's add fill. For the stroke, uh, I'm gonna add white for now. And then let's add R. So the radius of the circle would be the derived value of our uh, radius. And the uh, x position of the center of the circle will be, uh, I'm going to add 50%. So the y also it will be 50%. All right. So we can see some problems over here and then uh, let's add stroke width. So I'm going to use our variable over here. All right. Then uh, we can add the line cap as round and then we can use these stroke uh, dash array so for the moment here i'm going to use circumference and then we have the offset yeah you can see this is changing so for now let's add this 
okay so now half of the circle is visible so this is how we are gonna change the animation so we are gonna basically uh, update this value so there's a small problem over here because uh, the origin uh, this circle is uh, starting from here so we need to move, uh, rotate the circle so then we can start the circle animation from the top so to do that let's add the origin first uh, to the group so the origin would be um, half circle so here we have to add uh, two parameters x and y and then we can rotate based on that uh, point let's add minus all right now it looks good yep so the next part is um, let's add another circle over here so that's for that we don't need the offset and let's add the opacity stroke opacity let's say 0.3 okay or rather 0.2 and 0.2 would be good so basically now the ui part is done so what uh, we have to do is the animation part so then uh, first uh, let's define a uh, animation value so i'm gonna say progress value so we are going to use use shared value from reanimated so the initial value would be zero so then uh, we can convert this one circle uh, to animated circle so for that let's uh, use reanimated Alright, so here uh, since I have uh, created this circle from reanimated, so we have this new property over here animated props. So we can pass our uh, properties which is uh, we are gonna use to animate to this uh, particular property. So I'll show you how to do that. So so initially now what we are going to do is we need to animate this property so in that case let's add animated props variable and we are going to use a hook from reanimated which is animated use animated props so here we are going to return this I'm going to cut it from here and add it to here. So here the we have to fill um, yeah the circumference would be the same so we need to change this particular value uh, so it's going to be the progress value dot value so we can add the dependency array as well so I'm gonna pass uh, this animated props to the animated props of the animated server so let's see so far okay this is uh, since the initial is zero we cannot see the circle so let's uh, we I change this and if I refresh yeah it's not ah yeah this is a big value so this value needs to be between uh, 1 and 0 let's refresh yeah it's working 
so now uh, what we are going to do is uh, let's add a use effect so here we can change the values so let's add this uh, number first and let's see how it works all right so you can see it's animating so let's uh, add a property over here let's say progress and uh, let's add some types So let's pass the progress over here and let's add 0.5 for now. So here we can add a logic. So if the progress is not available, uh, even though this is a mandatory field, I'm, I'm anyway going to handle the undefined uh, case. So here we can say this is zero. else we can add progress and here uh, it's going to be progress yeah let's see how it works yeah it's working so next what we have to do is we have to add a text uh, in the middle so for that uh, i'm going to use Redash. Uh, so the redash has a component of uh, retex. So here we are gonna use the text property. So we need to uh, update the text property with the animated value. So to do that, uh, I'm gonna use let's say text uh, animated text and here I'm going to use uh, use deride value hook uh, from uh, reanimated and here I'm going to uh, return the text based on the animation uh, the, the progress value so this should be a string so we can say let dot flow and we can pass progress value dot value over here and we can also add a percentage so then we can pass this value over here okay still the text is not visible so let's add some styling over here we can uh, define styles here Right, so the text is over here so we need to bring it to the uh, middle so let's add some styles to the view as well all right so let's make this position absolute yep all good 
so now uh, we need to see whether the animation part is working so let's load but still the animation part is not working so let's see why is that yeah I need to multiply this by 100 because this value is ranging between 1 and 0 all right let's uh, change our values over here and see how it goes yeah looks all right but still the text is not uh, changing let's refresh yeah it's okay all right so the next step is we need to uh, change the color of this uh, circle or uh, the stroke so to do that uh, we are gonna use um, this stroke property so i'm gonna remove we need to remove this from here and we are gonna use it uh, inside over here So we are going to add the range of uh, styles to uh, colors to here so here we can use the interpolate uh, here uh, the react uh, react native reanimate has uh, exposed this in, in interpolate color so this is the uh, tool uh, or utility function we are going to use to animate uh, colors so you cannot uh, use the interpolate uh, the this one so this will not be working for colors so here the first uh, the parameter would be the progress progress value and then we need to input the input range so it will change between these values and then the output so we can add a couple of uh, colors so i'm gonna copy paste uh, these colors so let's see how it works so i'm gonna change these values yep but uh, the text is not working yeah okay so sometimes you need to reload the app so otherwise uh, you won't be able to see the full animation so looks like uh, it's working now all right that's all from this video hope you guys learned something new and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video so cheers